everyone, this is Matt here with the fish tank and today I'm giving you guys a little follow-up video on my son's fish tank Kind of invading his space, but I'm sure he won't mind So, um, we've had these guppies in here now for um, over a week uh, Maybe a day oh, A weekday <laughs> No, but anyway, we've had them in here for uh, you know a little over a week and um, well since that last video I mean we put them in that day I think it was so um, they've been nothing died as a matter of fact they actually had a little they had little guppy babies in here see that one up there it's kind of hard to track them with this phone can't wait to get my new camera too by the way but yeah so we got little babies in here and um, we just tested the the nitrates and the nitrites and the ammonia and all that. So the ammonia, it's uh, pretty low. It's actually at 0 0.25, which is, uh, you know, livable. And then the nitrites, the nitrites were high. They were like 5.0 or above. Um, so we're not ready for the cichlids. Um, we have to get the uh, you know, the uh, bacteria in here growing a lot better because the ammonia is not being converted over to nitrates uh, is good. But the nitrates, the nitrates were uh, converting, or yeah, the nitrates, they were converting a little bit. Um, so they weren't as high. They were, uh, let me see, you know what, let me see the paper that I got. And I can give you a further away view of the tank. All right, let me see here. Oh, let's see what my son wrote down here. He wrote, okay, so the nitrates are actually at 20, which is still, I mean, that's a little high, but as you guys probably know already, and if you don't know, nitrates are a lot more survivable um, when it comes to, um, you know, these, um, you know, like nitrates, nitrites, ammonia. Ammonia and a nitrite and the nitrites, those things will actually kill your fish if those levels are too high. Now nitrates, those can get up pretty high, but um, those you can't just, you, you either have to have plants in your tank to remove the nitrates because the plants will use the nitrates as fertilizer, or you have to do water changes. And this is the reason why you need to do water changes because if your nitrates get up too high, then it could cause a problem. So what he needs to do now is he's going to need to um, he's going to need to do a water change because, like I said, the uh, nitrites are really high, um, and it will kill his fish if you got new fish in here. Now guppies, I mean, you know they they can live through a holocaust, you know, and and really just kind of go through it and and still you know be kicking just fine. Uh, the snails that he has, those are doing fine as well, but again, they can they can tolerate some pretty nasty water. So, um, I did have a question for you guys, and I wanted to get your input on this. Um, I'm actually, I'm not, I'm not too bashful to say it. I'm, I'm actually learning more about GH and KH. Um, I'm not no pro at it or anything like that, but I know that uh, KH is a water buffer, which just means that uh, the, um, it, it'll maintain the pH. Like if you had it at like 8.2 to, uh, you know, like 7 or whatever, if your uh, KH is high in your water, then it will basically keep it um, at that level. So it's like a buffer. It just keeps the level uh, wherever you set it at, basically. So I'm hacking it up real bad. But if you guys can help me, post below on what GH and KH is. And um, I'm looking forward to getting this thing completely cycled so we can put my son's cichlids in here. He's going to be moving these because he wants to keep them all. He's going to be moving them to his back to his frog tank. So anyways, thought I'd share this update with you guys. God bless you like always. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think of the tank. Uh, thank you guys for voting too in the last one on the name. Um, if you guys want to see that last video, just check the link out in the uh, description or uh, at the end of this video. So anyway, like always you guys, God bless and peace.